Hey everyone, Horror Heart here with another video. It's been quite a long time since I last posted anything, uh, about five years or so. Um, but this is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time. I know I haven't really been active on the channel, uh, but I do appreciate everyone who continues to subscribe. I seem to consistently get new subscribers, so I do really appreciate that. Not sure if uh, one day in the future I'll be able to keep up with it regularly. Right now it's just not feasible for me, but uh, as I said, this particular video I've wanted to do for a long time. I've been collecting these horror-themed snow globes for at least 10 years now, and I've made it my mission to find all the ones out there um, that are either officially licensed or um, that people make. Um, you know, that are sold in stores, whatever it might be. Um, and I have most all of them that I know of um, in existence. They're just a really cool item. You know, taking something like a snow globe, it's usually associated with Christmas or, you know, something positive. And then I just think it's a cool concept. Um, that there are a lot of horror movie themed ones and they're really unique. And I wanted to go through them all, kind of show you guys all the ones that I've gotten. I know I posted a while back, um, probably five or so years ago, um, when I was just starting uh, to collect these. And it's grown quite a bit since then. So I wanted to go over them and you know let you guys know kind of how rare they are. There are a lot of them that are really hard to find. Um, kind of a little bit of information and background on them um, and where you can find them now if they're available. So I'll go ahead and get right into it. Um, we'll start here. So this is a Creature from the Black Lagoon snow globe. This is, I believe, called a water ball. And this was licensed by Universal. I believe this is the only one like this. Um, this isn't a series. Uh, it's just from this film. And that is plastic. Uh, you can usually find these on eBay every once in a while. They're not very um, expensive. Um, usually pretty easy to find. Um, this is a Gremlins snow globe. So this, I believe, was in a Freight Crate or Horror Block, one of those subscription boxes. Um, I actually just read that one of those is no longer going to um, be in existence, so these might become more rare. Um, this one, I think, is pretty easy to find, too, and fairly cheap. So this is Amityville Horror. Now, this one uh, is one of the very rare ones. Um, this was made for the 2005 remake and it was actually given away at the premiere uh, for anyone that was in attendance at the premiere i was able to find it on ebay probably about 10 years ago for reasonable but as far as i am aware you cannot find this anywhere so really hard to come across um, it has aged there's not traditional um, glitter in it you can see that it's like an oil but it's kind of starting to deteriorate in there but still a really cool item. Um, next, this is a another Gremlins one. This has been out for a long time, too. I think this was put out by NECA. Um, this one's pretty easy to find as well uh, on eBay. <clears throat> Most everyone's seen these. Uh, it's the Nightmare on Elm Street. There's also a Friday the 13th one. You can see his one uh, claw is missing. Um, I do have to glue that back on. It doesn't really have um, any snow in it. It has kind of glitter. But NECA, I believe, released these as well. And um, fairly um, easy to find. You can usually always find one floating around on eBay and they go for around anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars. Uh, Scream, Scream 2, and 
first Scream. These were released in stores uh, around the time that the movies actually came out. Uh, these are pretty hard to come by as well. Um, these are hard plastic. They did not release one for the third movie uh, or the fourth. Um, like I said, occasionally you can find these floating around on eBay. You might find them, you know, a couple a year uh, that are on there. Sometimes they're from international sellers. Um, and they're usually pretty pricey as well because they're so rare and hard to find. All these small ones in the front, um, these are from Spirit, Halloween, and Walmart um, that I was able to find last year. So there's a Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. And these were pretty cheap at Spirit. These smaller ones were Spirit. Uh, it Chapter 2. Halloween 2. And A Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, these, I'm not sure. Uh, we won't know until Spirit reopens uh, if they're still going to have those this year. I think they did become pretty rare. You can't really find these on eBay. Um, and if you do, they're kind of pricey. These ones are not as rare. These are the Walmart ones, and they actually do light up. And so these were at Walmart last year. They were like 4 or $5. Uh, so there is a Jaws one. Uh, it, another It Chapter 2. This one's kind of broken. The head's tilted in there, but this one also lights up. And then the last one of these is another uh, Friday the 13th, Jason Lives. And this one also lights up. Uh, next, uh, this is a trick or treat snow globe. Um, this, as well, was um, part of a horror block, one of those subscription boxes um, that came out, I think, last year. You can occasionally find these floating around on eBay, um, and they are on the more pricey side, too, because you can't buy these from horror block um, unless you would have gotten it in the uh, subscription box, and so occasionally you might see one floating around on there. Another really rare one is uh, this one from The Mist. This, I believe, was given away at Blockbuster stores when the DVD was released. Um, back whenever that was, maybe 2006, 7, uh, when that movie came out. And this one is cool because instead of the normal snow, it actually has um, little spiders that float around in there. This one's also extremely rare, really hard to find. Um, eBay, again, would be the best bet, be the best bet for all of these. Um, but yeah, this one, rarely see it on there. And when it is on there, it's um, pretty pricey. A couple of these ones back here. This one is not um, anything licensed. This was, I think, something I found on Etsy. Uh, but I did think it was cool, especially Black Christmas, Christmas theme, snow globe. So as you can see, it is just uh, the theatrical poster for the movie in there. And that's plastic. Well, this was another Etsy purchase uh, from Krampus. And so you can see the figure in there. And this one actually does light up and so I thought this was also really cool um, I usually like I said anytime I see any of these that are in any way horror related I try to snatch them up so very reasonable on Etsy I don't think they're available on there anymore
Now this was another, uh, I think, Fright Crate or Horror Block Snow Globe. This is Silent Night, Deadly Night. This is one of my favorite ones, just really unique. Um, you can see that um, that is from the poster, the theatrical poster and DVD VHS art. Um, these ones are, you can also find uh, floating around on eBay. Um, again, rare though because you can't buy them um, from any retailer. They were part of the subscription boxes. And so um, you usually can find one though, probably around $100, $150. This is another coveted one. These ones you can usually find on eBay. This um, is from Halloween. This was released with the 20th anniversary VHS. It came in a box set in uh, 1998. And so you can see the scene from the movie with uh, Michael and Laurie on the couch. And this one is numbered. Um, you can usually find these either in the complete set with the VHS on eBay or by themselves, but again, they're usually at least a hundred bucks. But that's definitely one of my favorites. This one, not a lot of people know about. Um, so a little background on this, as you can see, it's um, The Shining um, themed from the Overlook Hotel, the hotel in the movie, and you have the maze from the movie in there. And so a little bit of background on this from what I read is <clears throat> a long time ago, there was a company that made these that wanted to sell them. They wanted uh, to partner with the studio to release these. They wanted it to look like something you would buy in the gift shop at that hotel. Um, but that never materialized. They didn't get... Um, uh, the rights to the movie, something along those lines. And a lot of these sat in storage for a long time. They all have kind of defects. If you see that um, there is some of the paint coming off there, the globe itself is a little crooked, but really neat. Uh, as you can see, the um, design on it is the carpet from the movie. Um, and these you can find i did get this on ebay probably five six years ago so you can find them uh, pop up on ebay every now and again sometimes they're um, on the cheaper side sometimes they're not it just depends on the seller um, but this is definitely one of my favorite ones as well And you can see back here, I showed the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street one. This is the Friday the 13th with Jason. Again, this one was released by NECA. And you can usually find one on eBay every now and again. Uh, just like the Nightmare on Elm Street one probably goes for around $150 to $200. These... These are actually uh, Universal licensed, um, Universal Monsters. So this is a Frankenstein. It has the uh, brain down there and it does have a music feature. Um, if I only had a brain, it plays. And I believe there were um, snow globes that were released for almost all of the Universal Monsters. So I still have a few of those uh, to get. I don't have nearly all of them, but uh, this is another snow globe, again, licensed by Universal. It's a music box as well. You can see the mummy in there. And then this one um, is also a Universal license. This is a Dracula. And the cool thing about this, like some of these other ones, is instead of snow, there are bats that float around in there which I think is really neat this one is not a music box I do have a, another Dracula one that is a music box um, that I wasn't able to find for the video <clears throat> but 
Yeah, there are also, um, there's another creature from the Black Lagoon one that's in the style of these. Um, Phantom of the Opera, Bride of Frankenstein. So I still have those, um, those to collect as well. I just haven't been able to find any of those. Um, and there are other snow globes um, that do exist that are so rare. I just have not been able to find them in years. There were ones released for... The Grudge and The Grudge 2, um, Columbia Pictures puts a lot of these out for um, like the cast and crew at wrap parties, and so that's likely why they're so hard to find. Um, oh, and I did forget one back here. This is another It. And this one I happened upon by chance. That was... That's kind of what happened with a lot of these. A lot of these I didn't even know they existed, but I'd be looking for one maybe on eBay or just based on my search history, and I would just happen to see it, and then if it was reasonable enough, I would buy it. Now this one I don't believe was released in the United States. Um, I bought it, and it came from Canada, and the last time I saw one on there was in Australia. Um, so... I can't even say. I think I paid like 50 for it. I can't say what they normally go for, and I really don't see these on there at all anymore. But there are a few other ones, as I said, uh, the grudge ones, a few more universal monster ones um, that I don't have um, that I continue to look for. Um, but for now, um, I'm pretty happy with the collection I've had so far. Um, like I said, just something really neat to collect. I love horror movies, um, and you know, when I first discovered, I think it was the Halloween one years back, and then gradually discover all the other ones that exist, I just decided that I needed to have them all. So these are the ones that I have so far, the collection so far. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, if these are things that you would like to collect or look into, you can always um, leave a comment. And again, I appreciate everyone that has been with the channel, continues to um, like the videos and subscribe. And I really appreciate it. I'm not sure when I will have the chance to do another video, um, but I will try to do one again as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching and take care.